Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning viewer, then hi, nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back. If you haven't already, certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I do post on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so there's been a lot of content going out. And if you don't wanna miss anything, then that's going to be your best bet. So today I thought that I would kind of put together a list of knitting patterns that I've really had my eye on for this summer for myself. And I have not made many of these. So I think I've completed one and I'm working on another and that's it. So yeah, let's just hop right into this list because otherwise I have a feeling that this might be a longer video. So yeah, uh, the first top that I wanted to talk about is actually a cardigan and it is the Balloon Cardigan by Petite Knit. I did make this out of a Malabrigo sock yarn in the colorway Sandbank and I know I've talked about that before. I shared it in one of my knitting updates and I can uh, link that below if you want to check that out. But yeah, love this cardigan. Again, it's got kind of a cropped design to it, but very lightweight, made out of the fingering weight yarn, and just very nice and flowy. So very suitable for kind of crisper nights uh, when you're just sitting around like a bonfire or something like that. Really, really like this, and I do kind of want to make another one. It was a really fun knit, so highly recommend the balloon cardigan. And the other sweater that I've been working on is the Weekender Light by Andrea Maury. So I think a lot of people know about the Weekender by Andrea Maury. That was really big a few years ago. And this is the light version. So it's very similar, but it's made out of a fingering weight yarn again. So it's got a much kind of flowier feel to the fabric. And then it does also have a little bit more lightness to it just in general. So I am making this particular one right now and it is out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway Golden Yellow and I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, once again, if you want to check out my knitting updates, I can share progress with you over on those. I don't have it with me to share right now, but really happy with how this is working up. And I think that's also going to be a really nice sweater for when it gets a little bit chillier at night. Probably not suitable for like 90 degree days, but you get what I'm saying, right? I hope so. Moving on to patterns that I have not done yet. The first sweater that I've had my eye on is the oversized V-neck from Quail Studio. This is so pretty. I think it would be a really nice kind of beachy cover up or something where if you spent the whole day at the beach and you go in town to do a little bit of shopping or something, I think this would be really suitable. So yeah, it's made out of a fingering weight yarn again. So very nice and light and airy. And I think that if you made it out of a cotton, it'd be really, really nice for, yeah, like a beach cover up sort of thing. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that while this is a V-neck, it is a very wide V-neck. So if you are someone that likes to wear sweaters kind of off the shoulder, I think that this would work for that. That's probably how I would wear it personally, but it's gorgeous just as a V-neck itself as well. So love that. Then in kind of a similar vein, this one is also from Quail Studio. It is the mesh sweater and it's made out of a DK weight. So if you're not someone that is comfortable doing a fingering weight sweater, this might be a little bit more suitable. It does have a crew neck rather than that V and it also has that really airy texture to it. So it would be a really nice cover up once again or if you had something colorful underneath that might be kind of fun but yeah just a really pretty sweater all in all and I actually have one more pattern from Quail Studio that I wanted to mention I really like some of their summer stuff so the last one that I wanted to share is the oversized cardigan so I love how casual this one looks. It's made out of a DK weight and it does have some mesh panels here and there, more of a stylistic sort of thing than an all over pattern. And it does look very oversized. So it goes pretty long, but then it also has what looks like pretty wide sleeves as well. As you can see in the picture, they did roll them up a little bit, which I think would be really nice. But um, yeah, I would guess that those sleeves are pretty wide around the uh, wrist. So be warned, that that's probably what's going on there. But just an overall really pretty sweater and 
really like this as well. The next sweater that I wanted to share is one that I'm sure a lot of you have already seen and I've even talked about it quite a bit on this channel but I have not actually made it yet. It is the No Frills Cardigan by Petite Knit and Petite Knit's patterns are so straightforward. There is no guesswork in those patterns at all and they're very timeless pieces that will carry you through pretty much anything. So yeah, I don't know why I haven't made this cardigan yet. I've heard plenty about it. I've seen it enough times. I really want it, but I just haven't done it yet. So <laughs> one of those that's been on my list for a while, I need to get working on it, but I do have a few projects that I need to finish before I feel okay casting it on. So yeah, no frills cardigan. If you have time in your schedule, highly recommend. So something I've noticed a lot of major influencers wearing recently are knitted tank tops. And I was really excited when I saw that because I do love knitting and then I also like fashion. So this is a trend that I want to get on. And I picked out a few tank tops that I think would be kind of fun to make for this summer. And the first one is Canisol number no. four by My Favorite Things. And this one looks very similar to one that I've seen from Knitting for Olive. I think it's called the Chrysler Top, but that top is not available in English as far as I know. I think that it's in Danish and maybe German, but not English. So I had to find something that was similar and this one does kind of fit that same look. It's got kind of a design element at the top and then it kind of goes into more ribbing at the bottom. Really, really pretty. And this one is actually very similar to another tank top by My Favorite Things that's I think Camisol number two, but the difference is that um, that little decorative piece right in the middle there on the camisole number two it's in stockinette so you can really see it well and then on this one it's i think in pearl stitches so it kind of sinks in more which is kind of the look that i like better uh but yeah love that another pattern by suzanne Mueller. this is the thea top very basic it's made out of a worsted weight yarn has a really nice scoop neck very basic but i have a feeling that you could wear this pretty much any time of the year so you could wear it in the summer which is kind of the trendy thing to do right now or you could also wear it with a cardigan or a jacket, something kind of fun for the fall and winter months as well. So I think that this would be a really versatile project as well, and it just looks really nice. So yeah. The last sweater that I wanted to share with you is also by Suzanne Mueller. We're gonna finish it out with her designs, and this is the Jules sweater. So this has a very nautical look to it. It is a full-length sweater, so more for kind of cooler days, but really pretty and just I really like this as well so yeah so those are my top 10 knitting picks for her I really love all of the sweaters in here and I wish I had time to make all of them but we'll just kind of see how much I get done and hopefully a couple of those tank tops will be in my closet by the end of the season but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did certainly give it a thumbs up and like I said subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really appreciate it I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video bye